going on guys? It's Mr. Tim here, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to show you guys how to play a basic 4-4 rhythm. Now in the last video, I talked about all the different types of drums and things that we have. And today we're gonna to use a couple of these drums to make a basic rhythm that you can play in a lot of different settings. You can play this rhythm in a lot of different tempos and it'll give you a lot of different styles of music even. All right, so the basic three instruments that you need to play a 4-4 rhythm are going to be your kick drum, your snare drum, and your hi-hats. All right, now today we're gonna to do a little bit of notation. And notation is good because it teaches you how to understand music better and read it in an organized setting. So we're gonna talk about a couple of things. The first thing I wanna talk about is this thing here. A lot of you guys probably seen this in math class. A lot of people tell me all the time that this is a fraction or it's equal to one whole. But in music, this is actually called a time signature, all right? And a time signature tells us something very important. It tells us BPM, which stands for the amount of beats per measure, all right? Now measures are created by these lines that we have here, which are called bar lines, all right? I have three bar lines that I've drawn here, and from these three bar lines, I have two measures or bars, you can also call them. So for right now, I'm gonna give you the basic pattern that our kick drum plays in a basic 4-4 four, four time signature. All right? These notes that I have here are called quarter notes. Now each note is a line connected by a shaded in circle on the bottom, all right? Now if you notice, I have one, two, three, four quarter notes here. Now that means the kick drum is gonna play quarter notes four times in every measure. I'm gonna do it one more time over here. All right, one, two, three, four. Simply, if we have a time signature, if we're playing four, four, our kick drum is gonna sound like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Another thing I should probably tell you is that a good drummer always counts. A good drummer always counts, remember that. So we have quarter notes on our kick drum, all right? The next, instrument that we're going to use is going to be our hi-hats. Now our hi-hats are these symbols that we have here. They open and close and we're going to use them closed in this segment. All right. So our hi-hats are going to play eighth notes. And we'll talk to you a little bit about these eighth notes. And I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger for you. Now if you notice, our eighth notes look a little bit like bunny ears or headphones, but actually they're just like quarter notes. They're the same line with the shaded in circle, but they're connected on top by a little line called a flag. Now, we're always gonna see eighth notes to have one flag, all right? And the way we count eighth notes are gonna be counted one and two and three and four and, oops, yep. So if we're counting one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, we're gonna play our hi-hats like one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Now when you connect the kick drum and the hi-hats, you gotta remember that they're playing two separate things. Our kick drum's gonna play quarter notes when our hi-hats plays eighth notes. So I'm gonna start with the kick, the kick drum first and I'm gonna add the hi-hats. So the kick drum's gonna go one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now with our right hand, we're gonna play our hi-hats with our hi-hats closed. Two, three, like this. 
one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Very simple. Now the very last thing we need in order to play our basic 4-4 rhythm is going to be our snare drum rhythm. Now our snare drum rhythm, I'm going to put it on the side over here. Our snare drum rhythm is going to be made of half notes. Now if you may see, these half notes look a little bit different from our quarter notes because they are not shaded in. That's how you're going to know that it's, in half, it's a half note. The half notes are never shaded in. They're always going to be empty on the inside. But what we're going to do here is we're going to play half notes on numbers two and four. We're going to leave one and three open, or we could use this too. These are quarter rests or silent notes. So on two and four, we're going to play our snare drum. And I'm going to show you how. So I'm going to start again with our kick drum playing quarter notes. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now the hi-hats are going to play eighth notes with your right hand. One, two, ready, and. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and. And with your last hand, you're going to play the snare drum under the right hand with the snare drum two, on numbers two and four. One, two, ready, watch me. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now, if you notice, another thing that I did was use a symbol that I have here called the crash symbol. I used it every four bars, and I used it to signify where the one is every four bars. This is very important because the one in, in music helps us to kind of reset or refresh the timing or the measures. So I'm going to show you one more time, and that's going to be our video for today. So our kick drum is going to be one, two, three, four, one. Two, our hi hats are going to be one and two and three and four and one and two and three. And our snare drum, one and two and three and four and 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 three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four.